And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. We've got open air baseball for you on the show. It's the Colorado Rockies going up against the New York Mets. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about set to go. And on the hill, the big righty, Jacob DeGrom. Singy always a treat when we get to watch him work. Very crafty guy out there on the hill. A stellar career ERA in the low twos. Very tough to get to. Just when you think you've got him figured out, he flips the script. We'll see how the hitters are able to adapt to him today. And here is C.J. Crone. His July and August splits there. And a pitch. Swings and misses. And we're underway here this afternoon. First pitch, 140. The wide to kick the pitch. And a foul ball. Next pitch misses, and it's one and two. Kicks and deals. Right through there, got him. Down on strikes, and he knew it. Well, that's not the best two-strike fastball I've seen, but certainly got away with the location there. You know, sometimes as a hitter, when you're down in the count, you're so focused on a pitcher painting the black, and... You just get a little bit locked up on something down the heart of the plate, not expecting it, and it just kind of freezes you. Now it's Brendan Rodgers. Next pitch downstairs, and that's ball one. Well, who would have thought Jacob deGrom as a college shortstop and then a ninth-round pick by the Mets was going to turn into this good of a pitcher? Back-to-back -back Cy Youngs in both 2018 and 2019. No score, just getting started, top of the first. Next offering is in the dirt. Now all leave it up. Stays alive. One down, base is empty. Bounce to third. Escobar collects it. Fires over to first. Two away here in the top of the first. Time to check out the Rockies lineup. And a big part of it, a guy with a great track record, Charlie Blackman. Well, Boog, there aren't many guys who have a flair for the big moment like he does. I mean, batting over 400 with runners in scoring position. Are you kidding me? I know it's not guaranteed or an automatic, but I hope we get to see him in a close late game situation with runners in scoring position and just see, is he truly a machine or not? Ryan McMahon at the plate now. Looks at one down below the zone. Two outs. Foul ball. And the right hater deals. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. And a pitch. And it's even up. Really good take, especially with two strikes. 2-2 two -two now. Liner to second. It picked on the hop. Toss to Alonzo. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Nothing doing for the Rockies. 
Now the Mets will step up for their first shot in a scoreless ball game. You're dialed into the show. We go to the bottom of the first. Today's starter for Colorado, Kyle Freeland. What do you got on him, Chris? Well, it hasn't been a great year so far in terms of ERA, but he's had some decent games, and there have been some flashes of greatness, if you will. We'll see today if he's able to get ahead of hitters and perhaps get some swings and misses, put himself in a position to bring that ERA down, because you know in the back of his mind, beyond the W, he wants to have a better earned run average. Pete Alonzo leading off here as he looks at that one outside the zone. The wind of the pitch. Hopped up right side. Crone settles under this one. And there's one away. Let's take a peek at the Mets lineup here. One of the more high-powered lineups in the game right now. It's built to do damage, and they got some guys that could punish the baseball, Chris. So fun to watch these guys take their at-bats. I mean, they're so disciplined. Don't give not just at-bats away, but really pitches away. Very aggressive, competitive in the zone. And when they connect, there's usually some loud noise to it. So we'll keep our ears open today. Francisco Lindor watches that one for a strike. Standing in here with one down. Here's your one. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Daza gets under it. He makes the catch, and there's two down. Batting third, the second baseman. Two outs, base is empty. And next for the Mets, Jeff McNeil. Good contact guy, good defender. Swing and a ball popped up. Nobody can get there, and it's a foul ball. The pitch. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field, and it falls. And that extends the inning. Fastball off the plate a little bit, but a really nice job of going with it. Punched it to the opposite field for that knock. Two outs, runner at first. Starling Marte up to hit. First pitch doesn't find the zone. McNeil, the runner at first with two gone. Next offering is fouled back. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And a pitch. Just misses. Three and two now. Three, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Nothing for the Mets in the first. Second inning coming up from City Field. Nothing, nothing here on the show. Back here at City Field, here's Garrett Hampson. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. And first offering is fouled off. And the 0-1. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Joe McDonald doing the home plate duties here. 
Well, Joe's an interesting one. I'm always trying to figure out what exactly his zone is. Feels like it kind of moves around from game to game, sometimes inning to inning. And there's a foul ball. Going to now. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. One gone here. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Jonathan Daza steps to the plate. And he lays down a bunt. And he picks it up in foul territory. Second inning here, no score. Hit on the ground to the right side. McNeil picks it up, the throw to first. Two up, two down in the top of the second. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Here's Charlie Blackman. First offering, misses the mark. Next offering misses, and the count is 2 0. Oh. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss, and it's 2 and 1. Righty delivers. Swings through that one for strike two. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Rockies are down quietly. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back here in Queens, now Brandon Nimmo. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. That one misses in the dirt. Ball one, no strike. Right field down the line, and that one slices foul. A little early on that fastball. I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch on this next one. Ripped on a line to center. And it drops in, but a good job to keep it in front. Now, just a nice job coming through in a pretty high leverage spot right there. Pitch was on the outside, didn't go the other way with it, but still a nice job of using the big part of the field to find a hole. No way he hits it that well if he hooks around the baseball there. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. And here is Mark Canna. He's someone that really beats up on right-handed pitching. The lefties, however, give him a little bit more trouble. At the belt and fires. Strike two with two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. And he deals. And a foul ball, he stays alive. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. And now the lefty. And a swing and a miss. That's one out in the bottom of the second. Oh, well, that high forcing fastball has become such a great pitch for pitchers to finish hitters off. They're trying to stay back with two strikes, make sure that they can handle something off speed, and just with good spin rate, good rotation through the zone, elevate it a little bit, get a lot of swings and misses, and that's a really nice job right there. 
Here is James McCann. First pitch, and he just misses. Nimmo leads off first with one away. Next offering is in for a strike. Freeland checks on first. Throw, and it gets away. Another throw over, and he's back in that time as well. Next offering is downstairs. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt, a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher, but if you're anticipating based off the trajectory, get yourself in the scoring position. In the air, out towards right center. Two down. Batting it, the third baseman, Eduardo. Eduardo Escobar, El Caballo up to him. First pitch just misses. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. Fought off foul. Ball to strike. There's the strike. It's a good changeup to hit up in the zone. I don't think he recognized it. I'm sure he'd love to have that one back. The pitch. Hampson. Out number three. Met strand one will move to the third with no score. Back here at the ballpark, new inning getting started. So in now for Colorado, Connor Joe. Number nine, Connor Joe. DeGrom back to work. And he takes a strike. He's a guy with a big time fastball, lots of velocity, but I think the thing that's most impressive is that he commands it so well. As a hitter, when you step in the box against him, you better be ready to swing it because it's coming, it's coming hot, and it's going to be in the zone. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. I'm not sure that was the exact location the pitcher wanted, but it worked. He got the swing and miss, and I'm sure a bit of sigh of relief after seeing that one go through the zone. And now it's Elias Diaz. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And the 1 0. Aye. Top of the third, no score. That was absolute gas. Triple digits on the gun. It's just a different experience as a hitter watching that go by. Swings and misses. And that is strike two. Aye. 
In the air to left, down the line. Canna on the move to his right and puts the squeeze on it. That's out number two. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Jose Iglesias at the plate and takes high there. And there's the strike. Wow. Good luck catching up to that one. The wind and the pitch. That's in there. That's excellent location on the fastball right there early in this game. If he can do that all game, should be a good outing for him. Tap dances out of the way of that one. Two down, nobody on. Stays alive. Two two now. This one popped up. Alonso should have this one. And that is that. One, two, three, go the Rockies. Still no score. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's Luis Guillorme. The MO for him is contact. The guy who's going to deliver average, not a ton of power. He's looking to hit a line drive somewhere. Y'all, that's why it's a team. And when you look at a lineup, he's a great two-hole hitter or a guy that you could put at the bottom to help turn that lineup over to have some momentum for your top hitters coming up to the plate. Next pitch has popped up. Hampson puts the squeeze on that one, and there's one down. The back, the first baseman, Keith Alonzo. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonzo. He's a big, strong guy, can untie this game with one swing. First offering, misses the mark. Tried to backdoor him with that slider right there, but just missed off the plate. Good pitch, though. Next offering is down low. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Out towards right center field. Blackman under it. Two up, two down. Now batting, shortstop, Francisco. Lindor. Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. First pitch swing in, went up there with a the plan to be aggressive. Textbook bat control right there. Got a pitch on the outside, saw it deep into the zone, and just barreled it up, went the other way for the knock. So two down, and now here's Jeff McNeil. Really good piece of hitting last time, going to the opposite field. In there, and it's 0-1. And you played behind guys, and they loved having your speed out there defensively. One of the things that we talk about is how much pitchers enjoy having those elite defenders behind them. The pitch. Lindor on the move. One and one. It's a pitch out. Throw to second. Out there. And that ends the inning. Well, trying to get in the scoring position, but a great catch and throw to end the inning. That's the way to pick up the pitcher. Start of the fourth, and here's the first baseman, C.J. Crone. The first baseman, number 25. And here it comes. 
Boog, and the one thing about that is speed never goes in a slump, and defense shouldn't either. Hitting-wise, you can struggle, you can lose your mechanics, but the thing that you can do can... Tries to reach for it, but it's through. Well, that may end up being an at-bat we go back to later on when this game is over. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. Next to hit, Brendan Rodgers. And the first offering is not close. The 1 0. And he pumps it a strike. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and hardly order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. And a 1 1. Rudder takes off. And that one hit to first. Knocks it down. Fires to first. As the pitcher brings it in for the out, and the runner advances to second. Ryan McMahon steps to the plate. Grounded out his first time up. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in war. Well, a come-and-get-me fastball right there. He didn't look ready for the velocity. I think it'd be a mistake to throw him anything off speed right here. 0-2 oh as he waves at that one. Another 0-2 count right here. Pitcher just in the driver's seat. He can go anywhere he wants to go right here. That misses. Yeah, the count one and two. One out and a runner at second. Next one just misses. And the count is even two and two. Runner leads away at second. And a swing and a miss. Two gone. Toughest pitch to hit. Fastball on the outer black. Man, sometimes you just got to tip your cap. So now it's the four-hole hitter, Garrett Hampson. 0 for 1, he struck out swinging last time. First offering misses badly for ball one. And a pitch. That's a slider for a strike. Crone stands at second with two gone. Next pitch way upstairs. Man on second, two down. Swing and a miss. And the count is two and two. Then he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Swing and a miss, and that is that. The Rockies strand one, and we are still scoreless. Welcome back. John Chavi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Jeff McNeil. Second baseman. Here comes a pitch. Late with the swing there. Pitch. 
That's a ball. I got one ball, one strike. That one misses. And it's two and one. Well, you get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there are some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. Well, these guys have had a hard time scoring in this one. The guy out there on the mound wants to keep attacking and make sure that they don't get any confidence. And here's a 3-2. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. Starling Marte digs in now. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. And the pitch. Just off the outside part of the plate. Nobody out. Runner at first. Left field. Joe moving under this one. And there's one away. The bat. The center fielder. Brandon. Here's Brandon Nimmo. Nimmo. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. And that one is lifted in the air. Way back there. And it's gone. He blasts one out to right. His 11th of the year. It's 2 nothing. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient, waited for it. It was like BP all over again. Here's Mark Canna. Now batting. The left fielder, Mark. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Still only one out here in the inning. Next offering upstairs. Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. The wind to kick the 2 0. Foul ball there. And a pitch. In the air, left field. Joe sizing this one up. Pulls it down, and there's two gone. Now batting. The catcher. James. McCann. James McCann in now. Hit it well, but flied out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. That one's in there, 0 and 1. The 0 1. Swing and a miss as he was late.
going to count one and two. Two outs. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. That to right. Brings it in with a nice running grab. And that'll do it. Mets had two runs on this blast. It's now a 2-0 ball game. Ready now for the fifth inning. So in now for Colorado, Yonathan Daza. The center fielder, number two, Yonathan Daza. The right-hander back to work. Down the line, it's a base hit. Around first and hustling for second. In safely, it's a leadoff double in the fifth. You know, I was watching his rounds during batting practice today. So impressed with his ability to let the ball travel, go back up the middle and the other way. Sometimes when you step in the box during the game, you get a little anxious and you get away from that. But so far, I've seen him stay consistent with his pregame preparation. Here's Chuck Nasty. He was a strikeout victim his first time. And that one wrapped foul. Tying run at the plate. And fouled off. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. And he'll two. Tapped in front of the plate. And he grabs it in foul ground. punch out there not what you're looking for after the leadoff double a strikeout and there's one away no just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there and I don't think he was taking it thinking it might be a called ball or anything I just think he was flat out frozen did not expect that location in my opinion Connor Joe digging in for the Rockies And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Daza over at second, one down. And that one fouled off. And the righty deals. And one and two. I don't like to say he wasted a pitch. I think that was a purpose pitch. Change the eye level, have him look up. Now go back exactly where you want to go. The next offering misses. Now two and two. And a swing and a miss. And they're down to their last out. So back-to-back -back strikeouts now, and they still haven't managed to do anything with the leadoff double. Yeah, Boog, and you just don't want to get careless here. You've done a really good job to get two outs after that leadoff double, as you mentioned, and just got to execute your pitches, and it's a non-issue. Elias Diaz digging in for the Rockies. He's 0 for 1. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Runner at second, two down. Next one misses, and it's a ball to strike. Oh. 
Up the middle. On to first. Ball game. And the Mets get a shutout on the mound. What a low scoring ball game in this one. 2 nothing game. Few errors. Pretty clean. That's kind of what you want to see in terms of defense and pitching. A couple of runs was all it took to get the W today. 2 nothing. your final here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. No runs on only two hits. No errors. They left two men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 27 minutes. Thank you for joining us here.